We're gonna start with the left front. So everything is there is there are right and lefts, front and rears, obviously. This is so in the manual it tells you Yeah, this number correlates to left front rotor, left front caliper. The brackets are the same, right and left, but that's about it. And so actually so are the brake lines. The fronts are this both fronts are the same, both rears are the same, and you got mounting hardware right there. So, so I gotta get a bucket, don't I? Oh, oh, we can use my... Or we can pinch the brake line, because we're not going to reuse it anyway. We'll just pinch it with a uh, vice grip so it won't leak. Okay. Or, I mean, because we have my extractor. Yeah, but that thing's going to be in the way. Right? Yeah. I'll just pinch it. Okay. So then you move the back bracket and... Move the, we'll move the whole caliper comes off, actually. Yeah. yeah. Take this off, pull, unload the pads, take the center section off, and pull the bracket. All right, so you got the, the line broken. Yep. Yeah. You got the right wrench. You got the dribble stuff all over my all over my. Nah, I, I got it squeezed. See. All right. Hmm. You have a little catch pan because in order for me to thread it out, I'm gonna have to take this off for a minute. You have something besides that big old thing? It'll fit right underneath you. It won't even be in your way. We don't need to clamp because we have our twin bush. Uh, I think I have to get this guy to the brake Make sure there's the little thing you're losing. Use the rock for the socket. Well, I think if you look right here, this one. about the carbon ceramics. Told you. Oh. Wouldn't be so dirty. It's cheaped out. Got the two brackets hold the caliper in place. <clears throat> so that first part you remove, that would be if you pad change. You know, like some cars you have to remove the whole caliper to change the pads. So this you is remove it this way. Caliper bracket. We should so we uh, we get put these all together. Off. Weigh it. Oh yeah, we could. See how much? I think the the stock ones are aluminum. This bracket's not though. Feels heavy. My Honda's always had to tap them out. Hmm. They put a Phillips, Phillips head on there. So this will remove the, the rotor from the hub. Let's see. So that's it. I missed the truck. And we'll put those on the scale. I'm gonna do it right now. See. Well, let's paint our right. paint this first. Yeah. All right. So the front. Six piston Brembo yeah, without the lines is 38 pounds 11 ounces. That's going to be a lot heavier than stock, but it's also much bigger. All right, so here's the OE. Now our pads are worn, but 36.10. So two pounds one ounce, right? Yep. But look at the, uh, look the, at the size difference. difference. This yeah. is, or triple, maybe two and a half sound. And the pad size. Yeah, they're probably double. So rotor size isn't dramatically different. You see, about an inch. 380 millimeter versus I don't know what size. Probably 350, 360. Yeah. So here's our 
OE rotor, or I'm sorry, caliper, 14.6. So it's two pounds lighter. Versus 12.8. Yeah, 12.7. So 12.7. So it's a one. Yeah, pound. pound. So that means the rotor, the bigger, bulkier. I mean, look how much. It's thicker, thicker. by a long shot. Look yeah. at this. Look at it like this. Yeah. That's that's a eighth inch across that whole surface. Mm -hmm. Just interesting. All right, so we just cut this off here straight. We're gonna carry that directly up here in a straight line in order to be able to fit the bracket in place. You could use a, uh, like a right angle grinder. I just don't, I don't have it here. I have it at the house. Doesn't do me any good there. In a few years, I might actually have all my tools, duplication of tools or have tools in the right spot. Yeah, that looks great. Clean. Yeah, you. Yeah. Right, I mean, you could notch it, but I think it's better to cut it straight well, like that. Well, it relieves room for the caliper too. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna paint this. our rust metal primer. I think our hub looked nice and pretty. Nice and runny. Next step is hit it with some caliper paint. Good to go. We'll let that dry and we'll go over and uh, work on the other side. All right, so I got the same procedure on the on the passenger side that we have on the driver's side, so I don't really need to film this, but you know, same thing. We're gonna remove the brake line, remove the caliper. Or caliper the, bracket. Yeah, caliper, then caliper bracket, then cut, or remove the Disc. rotor, remove the rotor, cut, yeah. paint, paint, and then we'll and install we'll back to the other side. We'll come back here. So we'll come back to you when we get to that. All right. All right, here goes. This isn't rocket science, right? No, not rocket science. Got pins. Do you have the bracket on first or the rotor on first? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, it's the through bolts into the rotor, so I'm gonna do that. Oh yeah. So there's a centering pin. Right, and there and then the bolts are. So where the heck do we use OE? Yeah, they're OE. Uh, the OE ones. I had to dig them out of the box. Yeah. Well, if I'd known that I'd have bought some new ones. Yeah well. They're seasoned. Badge. <laughs> Need some Tarex. I appreciate like you let me do all this cool stuff. Yeah. Uh huh. I'm just intimidated by your mechanical prowess, so I, <laughs> I feel inadequate. So. I, <laughs> yeah. Right. I, I'm right. a master manipulator, is what I am. Uh huh. <laughs> well, you provide Doritos when I show up. And sushi. No, what I do is provide like the coolest stuff in the world to play with. Oh, that's true. That's, that's exactly right. You need to put the studs through the caliper before you do that? No. And go through the bracket? The caliper can go on after. It's well, I meant the, the ones that come through. They go in no, because they thread this way. No, not according to the diagram. That's what I'm asking. How would they go from the back side? I'm not showing you what it is. Show them, they show them. I don't think so. That's what it looks like though, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Do you? Let me see. Yeah, but you got room. Look, this bolt. It's going mm -hmm. through this way. So I'm just making sure. Yeah, because there's no hole in there. Because they thread into. Okay. Yeah, because these right. are threaded. Let's make sure. Another misleading unless that's picture. The, unless that's the wrong bracket. All right. The pads are in there already. Yep, preloaded. So 
So these are side sensitive. Because the bleeders have to be at the top. Yeah. It's a good thing I'll have uh, quick access when I hit the track. <laughs> track, bro. And then there's probably a torque spec we're going to have to look up to make sure we do it and get this right. Since we're going into aluminum. Alright, so there we go. My first uh, aftermarket six piston Brembo installed. Pretty sweet. So worth painting the little hub even though you can't see it. I just know it. 170 Newton meters is the torque spec. Seems like a lot of torque for a. Uh, That's what it says. It's a big caliper. Yeah, but for an aluminum bracket. It does seem too much to me, too. Yeah, I'd say that's... You were at 105. Yeah, no way. Wait, is that foot-pounds or newton meters? Newton meters, NM. Oh, it sure is, yeah. 170 newton meters, I mean, that's... that's a lot. I'd say you're good. That sucker's not going anywhere. I'm more excited about the stainless lines than I am anything else. When you go to the track, you'll get no squishy brakes now. Yeah. That's the plan. I'm going to do like 0 to 60 in like 100 seconds on the track, sideways, drifting. 0 to 60 in 100 seconds is pretty slow. Hey, <laughs> gotta start somewhere, bro. Comes with a grommet, slides in the factory bracket right there. Pinch that off. It drips all over your face. That's all right. Music fluid, man. It's getting on your clothes though. Did they tell us how to orient? I'm going to orient that back there so it's out of the Wii. Let's see. <clears throat> Alright, it's bleed time. What do we do? We're going to bleed either side. Doesn't matter because the fluid's coming in. We can do outside first because the fluid's got to go through from the back side out to the front. And then we'll bleed the inside. Yeah, and then we'll just go Probably back and forth. Probably actually bleed the outside first. Make sure that we got all the air out. We'll do the furthest one first over here. Then we'll do that one. We'll make sure we keep fluid topped off. That's really so what remind me. Um, You're going to get in and pump. Right. Pump until it gets hold. hard. And then I'm going to tell yep. you hold. Yep. And then I'm going to crack the bleeder. It's going to go to the floor. I'm going to say wait. I'm going to tighten it. And then you're going to let off and pump it again. We're going to yep. do that over and over. Until you get tired. And Shane's going to take over. All right. Okay. Here's our... Reservoir. And what you'll do is as I'm pumping, you'll just keep checking this and keep adding yeah, as necessary. In fact, we got our fancy one. We have a, do we have a small funnel or are we using it? I don't think there is a He doesn't have any funnels here. Oh, you can use that no. green deal. Add a funnel. Oh, I'm doing this? Yeah. Well, I mean, otherwise we're going to have to keep stopping. You don't have to start the car. You know that, right? Yeah. I just want to put the window down. Yeah, I know. So I can get real comfy. Okay, so don't pump it all the way to the floor just yet because you don't want to push the piston past where it's ever traveled because a lot of times it'll get, it'll screw it up. So just go like half pumps until you start feeling some pressure. Pressure. Okay. All right. Now what? Now just hold it. I'm going to come over here and bleed. Okay. Hold it. Uh, tell me if it goes to the floor. Okay, go ahead and pump it up. What am I going to do? All my cars are going to be done. That's why I told you to take your time. Uh, well, we ruined all of that in two days. <laughs> if you didn't have the parts here, it wouldn't have happened. All right, you pumped it up? No, I'm not either. Go ahead, pump it up. I thought for sure you were, I was like, wait, this is Kidding. Oh no, I was getting close there. <laughs> I can feel you. <laughs> Where'd the lid go, Mikey? Huh? It was uh, another, uh, was another 12 good. seconds away from total out. Alright, so we put some crystal serum light because that's what I got here. Normally I would put C5, but I, don't, I, don't, I threw that bottle of C5 away the other day and now I wish I didn't. 
So just coat the calipers just to have something on them. Can't hurt. Looks great. How long does it have to cure before you put EXO on it? I don't know. It's supposed to be a day. I would say uh, three and a half minutes after you're done. Perfect. Treat the rear hubs the same. Hit them with some anti-rust primer. And then follow with some black just to clean that mess up. Ready, go. Done. No. All right. Back, same as the front, almost. You have the e-brake to deal with, yeah. right? So we, gotta really, we already released it, right? We're cheating again, because we already did the other side. So yeah. he's gonna do this in like in half the time. Yeah. But these were locked on a little tighter, so I had to beat these up a little bit to get it off. Yep. We're gonna show you that here in a second. So I'll pull a, pull a caliper first, bracket, let, let it dangle so we're not leaking all over the place, pull mm -hmm. the rotor off, clean the hub, we'll paint clean the it. hub, we'll take the, uh, then we'll put the new rotor on and then reverse caliper bracket, caliper mm -hmm. brake line, and bleed. So first things first, put the, the rotor on the caliper off. <laughs> what the back of your head well yeah <laughs> this looks better than the front she needs to scrub even out I mean, I would literally probably be doing this stuff until July, what we just did in two days. <laughs> yeah, we, we did a lot. A long Why? Last thing is the brake line. Where's the brake line on this one? Brake line's right here. Oh, well, there's the feed. Um, and it's, it's got a little different fitting. So this one, <coughs> instead, of, uh, instead of a hose with a banjo fitting, it's got a fitting with a crush washer. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. And the back portion, do the AWE exhaust right where we're at it. Not now. <laughs> Next time. It might still be here by then. <laughs> still in the cabinet. 
All right, so bleed procedure is the same. Yep. We're gonna start with the outside. But aren't people gonna yell at you that um, we're supposed to bleed like from the furthest way right and go all the way master around? Master cylinder, this is the furthest from the master cylinder. Yeah, but I mean, we already bled the fronts first. Well, you don't wanna get too much air in the system. I don't, we bled the front, those two, that's all done. It's no different than if we were just changing one caliper right now in the back. Yeah. The front's done. We did it independently of the rear. Then aren't people going to yell it? at us and say you're supposed to like Well, they're going to yell at us no matter how we do it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do the same bleeding procedure. No exactly. It's so like we did front brakes separately from the rear. We did them. They're done. They're bled. Now we're doing the rears. And we're going to start with the furthest one from the master cylinder, which is this one. There's a good chance I'm going to fall asleep at it. So you're going to be okay. Out. Fall asleep Hold at the on, wheel. I gotta get the... All right. Car is done. Uh, yeah, that was a major project today. Uh, we got ride height set uh, for now. Really, this is as low as you can go. So we got the ride height set. The bump stops relatively accurate according to, uh, to to Dynan's recommendations. I never even considered, you know, how much how much travel do we have? I, mean, I know about travel, but I never really thought about it. When you put a suspension on, you only just put the sleeve kit or the coil over and call it a day. So we were able to do. Uh, Dynan suspension, Dynan mono ball mounts on the front lower control arms, uh, sway bar. Uh, the only thing we didn't do with the suspension was the uh, rear toe arms. We'll, I'll do that when I'm on the alignment rack. Uh, then we uh, kind of did. Uh, got, I think we got lucky on camber, just kind of, kind of set it up uh, in, in the middle, and we, we we came out okay there. And then Brembo's are installed. Mike knocked those out, nailed it. Um, I'm psyched. They fit really well behind both 380 millimeter kits, front and rear. Four, uh, six pistons in the front, four in the rear fit right behind the behind the uh, the factory wheels. No spaces or anything like that. So uh, the HRE should be here in a couple of days. So uh, what time is it? Eight eight thirty. Nine thirty seven. Oh. <laughs> it's nine. We haven't even eaten dinner. Nine forty. Twelve and, hours. Uh, yeah, we're going home. So anyway, thanks for watching this one. I'll have more uh, on the Brembo's, uh, more on the suspension and stuff as we as uh, as I get it set up. Today was get it on the car, and then I can talk about it later. Uh, and so mission accomplished. Anyway, catch you on the next one. So what happens when the when the force pulls you back? Your foot naturally comes off the gas. You have to keep your foot to the floor. To the floor. Foot to the floor.